So a city decides to improve its roads, going to spend a little bit of money making the roads better. And of all the, of the total amount allocated for the project, 8% of those funds are going to go towards renting the necessary equipment. If it turns out that they end up spending, the city ends up spending $74,000 on equipment, we want to know what's the total budget for the project. So 8% of their total budget ends up being $74,000. We want to figure out which one of these answer choices is correct. So I'm going to, again, kind of write this out in words first. So it says, it says 8% of the total amount, that equals, we said, $74,000. So 8% of the total amount equals $74,000. Well, the total amount, that's what we don't know, right? We don't know this total amount. That's what we're trying to figure out. So I'm going to call it x. It's some amount. We don't know. 8%, we can write that as 0 0.08. Of, we've seen that we can write of as multiplication. So 0 0.08 multiplied by the total amount, which we're calling x, that equals $74,000. Okay, so I'm going to write this one more time. It says 0 0.08 multiplied by x equals $74,000. And again, a couple different ways that we could go about, um, go about doing this. So... You could immediately say, you know, 74,000. We could, let's do it two ways. Okay, let's do it. The first thing I'm going to do is just divide both sides by 0 0.08. 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.08 is going to leave us with x. And then we have 74,000 divided by 0 0.08. And, you know, this is where maybe it's a little, a little tedious. Um, so I'm going to do it the long way, and then I'm going to maybe show a way that would be a little bit quicker. You know, if you have a calculator, obviously, you could do 74,000 divided by 0 0.08, and boom, you're done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the decimal place two places to the right on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to move it two places to the right. If I move it two places to the right, that's going to give me, well, just 8. And if you imagine the number on top, you know, I could write 74,000 as, uh, you know, 74 comma 000, and then we could have a point, you know, we could write 74,000 as 74,000 in, say, zero cents. The same thing, if I move the decimal place two places to the right on the bottom, I've got to move it two places to the right on the top. Okay, so equivalently, I've got 7,400,000 divided by 8. And I'm going to do long division on that. Really what we're doing, too, in going from this step to this step, is I'm really multiplying the denominator by 100 and the numerator also by 100. So again, uh, let's do, let me get, grab another piece of paper. So kind of tedious arithmetic. Okay, we're dividing by 8. So let's see, 8 will go into 7 zero times. Um, 8 will go into 74, let's see, I guess 9 times, because 9 times 8 is 72. Let's subtract. Um, so 72, we've got 2, we could drop down to 0. So let's see, 8 will go into 20, uh, I guess 2 times. 2 times 8 is 16. 20 minus 16 is 4, again we'll drop down to 0. 8 will go into 40 five times. 5 times 8 is 40. And notice now, um, 8 will go into 0, 0 times. 0 times 8 is 0. We're just going to keep dropping down zeros. So our answer in this case is going to be $925,000. Now, a couple things. Again, if, you, if this was one of those problems where you had an answer key, or, you know, answer choices, I would stop, as soon as I did 8 goes into 74 and I got 9, I would stop, you know, this is the benefit of having multiple choice. It's got to be answer C because that's the only one that starts off with a 9. So I would know immediately, hey, answer C is correct, boom, I'm on to the next problem, I'm not wasting my time. 
if you didn't have the answer choices, well, obviously you would have to work it all the way out. But again, when you have these answer choices, use them to your advantage. Okay, so that was one way to do it, the, the division way. Another way to do it would be to use just some fractions. Okay, so still 0 0.08 times x equals 74,000. We're still going to do some division, but I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Well, I can write 0 0.08 as 8 over 100. Well, we can reduce 8 over 100. Let's see, they're both even. So that 8 over 100, so let me simplify real quick. If I divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2, that would give me 4 over 50. If I, they're still both even, so I could divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2, that would give me 2 over 25. So 2 over 25 multiplied by x is 74,000. So maybe, I don't know if this is a little bit better or not. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, to get the x by itself, I'm going to multiply both sides by 25 over 2. Okay, so on the left side, the 25's cancel, the 2's cancel, we're left with just x. Well, let's see, 74,000 divided by 2, what would that be? Um, so let's see. So 74,000 divided by 2, so I don't know if this is that much faster at all, in fact. But just a different way to do it. It never hurts to see both ways. If you like the other way better, uh, by all means use it. So 2 will go into 74 three times. And 2 will go into 14 seven times. Again, we're just going to get a bunch of zeros like we did before. So 74,000 divided by 2, well, that's 37,000. You would still have to multiply that by 25. So let's see, 5 times 0 is 0. We'll get another 0, 0. 5 times 7 is 35. We'll carry the 3. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 3 is 18. Let's see. 2 times 0 times 0 times 0. We'll get a bunch of zeros. 2 times 7, that's going to be 14. Let's carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. And now let's add. We'll have 0, 0, 0. 5 plus 0 is 5. 8 plus 4 is 12. We'll carry the 1. Again, we're getting $925,000. So, you know, honestly, I don't know if that was any, any easier or not. But, again, different way to do it. If you don't like it, forget this way. Again, to me, on a, if, I, if it was me doing a, uh, on a, uh, if it was me on the test, I would probably do it this way. But again, uh, you know, the good thing about doing it this first way too, right, as soon as we did that long division, we saw that 9 crop up at the very beginning, so it immediately told me that answer C was going to be the choice. With the second way I did it, well, it looks like I would actually have to go all the way through it to get the answer.